Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. Today we've got some unbelievable DIY hacks for you. You'll probably love them so much you'll be running to Dollar Tree after the video. Let's jump in and get started. This craft is so easy and so cute. What I'm going to be doing is grabbing this decor piece from Dollar Tree and taking the top off. I'm just going to be using the base for this project. We will use the top in a different project. The bottom is concrete and what I decided to do was attach it to a glass face from Dollar Tree. I think this is going to give it more modern and kind of almost wedding kind of vibes. To attach it, I used E6000 when I put the vase on, it kept slipping kind of back and forth because the vase doesn't slide perfectly in that area. So then I added hot glue to the sides. That didn't work great for me. So I ended up just putting hot glue right in the middle and kind of building it up so that the vase had something to stick to. To start this one off, we're going to be using this Dollar Tree cube and this Dollar Tree wooden ring. And the first thing that we're going to do here is stain these separately using this early American stain. And the reason that I like to stain some of these projects first is depending on where you're gluing it, if you glue these first, the stain won't be able to soak into the wood in those spots. So you're going to be left with bare wood spots underneath the glue and then stain spots and it just doesn't look very good. Next thing that we're going to do here is glue these together. I'm just using some hot glue from Dollar Tree. I have my glue gun on high heat and then I'm just going to glue that right in the middle. And then the last part of this project after we have those stained and glued together is adding a command strip here on the back. Now this one was a little bit long so I'm just cutting this down to size so that it doesn't stick out on the sides. But this is a really easy way since this is not going to weigh a lot and I'm most likely just going to put like some kind of plant stem in there. It's not gonna weigh a lot, so I don't have to worry about this falling off due to weight. And this project, I'm just showing you one, but I think this would look really good with at least three or more covering up a bigger space on your wall. Now it's time to use the top of the decor piece that we used earlier. What we're going to be using is this bowl from Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of four and we're going to be spray painting everything gold and just sitting it on here like this. I decided not to glue it because I feel like glue would just make it look really messy and it sits perfectly on top. This gave me very West Elm kind of anthropology vibes. What I'm going to be putting inside is this succulent. It's a very large succulent. I think we got it from Walmart. And to kind of prop it up a little bit more, I'm just putting a grocery bag at the bottom. You could also put white rocks from Dollar Tree at the bottom or sand or something like that, but the bag worked perfect for me. I recently found these little wood organizers in the crafting area with all the other wood stuff that they have and they're actually a pretty good size so you can use these for a lot of different DIYs. First thing that I'm going to do here is just use some of that early American stain. Go ahead and stain this. Now I'm not staining everything. You don't need to do the underneath part or all the top since we won't see those and I don't like to use any more material than I need to. Once we have that stained, we can move on to this plate. Now this is a plate that I got from Walmart. I believe it was right around $3. I really loved the dark stone look that it had and I thought it would be cool gluing this wood part underneath for a base. And I think it would look really stunning in kind of a high-end modern home setting used as a tray for displaying some of your decor or even some of your essentials, keys, sunglasses, wallet, some of those things. This project ends with four ways that you can style it. I grabbed this planter from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be taking off the base.
Once the base is taken off, all we're going to be doing is flipping it over and putting it back on like this. I'm going to be using hot glue to secure it. You can use hot glue or E6000, whatever you prefer. Hot glue is a lot quicker. It doesn't take as long to dry fully and it really just doesn't need anything super secure. You can leave it red if that fits your style. For my house, I am going to be painting it white first and then I'm going to be using this stone spray paint that we got from Walmart. So this is what it looks like after. I love how it turned out. I think it came out very kind of traditional and then if you flip it over, it does look a little bit more modern. You can put a candle at the top or you can put the candle inside. If you are going to be using the candle, this is for decorative purposes only, so please don't light it. And then I have this plant from Ikea, and the planter is also from Ikea. And you can put that on top, or I think my favorite way to style this is having the plant on the inside. Let me know in the comments below which way is your favorite. So this is one of the bigger plastic bowls that you can get from Dollar Tree and we're going to use this for a decorative bowl. The first thing that I'm going to do here is take some of this white Waverly pink and some of this baking soda. So this is a way that you can get kind of a textured look when you're painting some of these vases or bowls and give it more of an organic or stone ceramic look. For mine, I added quite a bit of the baking soda because I wanted a lot of texture when I painted this on. So the next part here is I'm just gonna take this paintbrush, paint it all the way around the inside and the outside. And this took, I think, two coats to complete. And then after this, we're gonna move on to adding more texture with a gray paint to really bring that stone look to life. This is one of my favorite ways to create a stone or cement look. So I'm gonna be using this sponge dipping it into the water first, getting it soaked up, squeeze a little bit of it out, and then dipping it into the paint. So what we want to avoid here though, is heavy paint. If you have too much paint, what you want to do is dip it back into the water and remove some of that. So you want a really light watered down paint that you're just splotching all the way around this. We'll let that sit for a little bit to dry. The next part here we're gonna make is the base for this bowl. So I'm taking one of these plastic planters from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna be using the base of that and then also the lid of one of these little craft boxes. All I have to do here is use some hot glue to glue these together and that will make our base. Now, the very bottom part from the planter is a very smooth, slick surface. The top of the craft box has a lot more texture to it. So for mine, I'm gonna add texture after I paint this with this gold spray paint. But if you're wanting a really slick look overall, you might wanna try like Mod Podge or some kind of sealer on the craft box first to make it a lot more of a smooth surface like the bottom base part. As you can see, they have a little bit of a different texture there. Now you could leave it or do the Mod Podge. I just wanted to blend those in together a little bit more and give kind of an aged distressed look to the bottom here. I think that it would look really good in combination with the stone that we have. So I'm just taking that same gray paint that we have with the water and the sponge, and I'm gonna sponge that around and then wipe some of it away with a clean, damp paper towel to get the exact look that I'm going for. After I have both of these painted and let them dry for a little bit, I'm going to connect them. So all I'm doing here is adding this to the bottom. I'll flip over my big bowl, line up the smaller base part, and then we'll glue that on with some hot glue. To glue this, I wouldn't necessarily try to just run some glue along the rim there. Since you're not gonna see the very top of this, it's covered by the lip on the bottom of this bowl, you can actually just lay it on top there and then run some hot glue around the seam and that will hold it together really well. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more DIYs like this one, we'll leave a playlist for you and you can click through right here to check that out. And as always, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.